Victoria has rejected the federal government's new deal for the Murray-Darling Basin plan in which the deadline for water recovery has been pushed back by more than three years. Water Minister Tanya Plibersek has confirmed the initial aim to recover 450 gigalitres of water by the middle of 2024 is now impossible to achieve. Tanya Plibersek turning on a new plan for Australia's largest river system. The plan has been off track now for a number of years. The previous government deliberately delayed and I would say even sabotaged the Murray-Darling Basin plan. The Water Minister announcing the deadline for water recovery under the Murray-Darling Basin plan has been pushed back to 2027 also unveiling a range of new initiatives to achieve the new target. The new plan will include controversial water buybacks and the fast-tracking of infrastructure projects, but it's a deal that's turned off the Andrews government. My door will always be open to Victoria joining on with this plan. It's certainly in the interests of Victoria to do so. Victoria's rejection of the plan means it will not have access to some Commonwealth funding that comes with it. If Victoria is um, not interested in updating its funding agreements, uh, then that's a matter for them. Victoria has rejected the New Deal because of Labor's plan to use buybacks as a method of water recovery. A view shared by New South Wales Premier Chris Minns, but he's agreed to sign on anyway. And subject to the legislative changes we need, uh, it will be the Commonwealth Government doing voluntary water purchase. We don't need the agreement of the states to do that. We'd like the cooperation of the states where that's possible. The National Farmers Federation Water Committee Chair Malcolm Holmes says it's not surprising Victoria has opted out. The basin states are, are heading in different directions. Mr Holmes agrees with the decision to move the target but believes the new plan is still ambitious. The government and, and I, I think all of us uh, have a challenge of actually delivering a plan that actually is good for the environment but is also good for regional communities and, and good for um, consumers in Australia, which, you know, we produce some really great food out of the base. The Greens believe the new plan is worse than the previous one. And this is an agreement to kick the can down the road, an agreement that does not guarantee water return to the river in a time that will save it. It doesn't guarantee the promised water for South Australia. Christy Lloyd, Sky News.